Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Amber Aerolite Synthetic Brush and I'm going to be announcing a giveaway, so stay tuned. Hey everyone, GW Smallwood, The Shaving Disciple, and today I've got a brush review for you. So this is the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, uh, otherwise known as Phoenix Shaving Amber Aerolite Brush. Uh, this is 1995 at Phoenix's website. I will link it in my video description below, so you guys don't have to go searching for it. You can just click on the link below and find it. Uh, this is a 24 millimeter, what Douglas calls the Stygian Synthetic Hybrid Knot. Uh, it looks a little bit like a tuxedo knot, but I find that it's not quite the same. So this is a 24 millimeter tuxedo knot from AP Shave Co. And you can see the coloring is a little bit different. So this is a pure black and white. The Stygian synth kind of fades from black to brown to the white tips. So it's a little bit different coloring. If you look at the knots, the density is a slight bit different as well. And as far as the softness and the backbone go, um, I think the tuxedo has a little bit more backbone, not, not much, but a little bit more than the Stygian knot. And I would say the tips on the Stygian are just a little bit softer. So the product advert on this uh, on PA's website says that the tips are super soft and create an almost gel-like tip quality when they're wet. So for those of you who use the gel tip badger brushes, this is supposed to be somewhat similar in a synthetic knot. Now whether that's true or not, um, I can't really say. I don't know that I've ever tried a gel tip badger brush. Uh, I can say that the face feel on the Stygian is a little bit different than the tuxedo knots and most of the other synthetics. It does feel a little bit softer, a little bit more spongy maybe. Um, not, it's, it's not a ton, but it is noticeable. It does have a slightly different face feel, I think, than other synthetics do. Uh, Douglas says that this has the same, same sort of fiber as the Roswell knots. So if you're a fan of the Peregrino or the Starcraft brush, um, this is supposed to have very, very similar feeling fibers. I don't have either one of those yet. Um, so I can't really compare those. This brush has been around a while. Um, it's Douglas's proclaimed homage to autumn with the amber coloring in the handle. Um, so I probably won't get enough light to really show you guys, but it does create some really neat reflections with that translucent handle with kind of the, uh, the smoky swirls in the translucent handle. This handle is based on the Ers Erskine, I think is the way you pronounce it, Erskine brush. The Erskine B200, to be spe specific. Douglas kind of used that brush as an inspiration and blew it up a little bit because that's a little tiny brush. Um, it is the same handle shape as the Phantom Aerolite that I have reviewed previously on the channel. Uh, obviously, different knots. This is much larger knot. Um, they're both considered hybrid knots. Although, I would say the Stygian knot is a little bit closer to a bulb shape. Uh, it's not quite a full bulb, but I think it's closer than this. It also could be the coloring of the tips that makes it more kind of look like that's the case, and maybe it's really not. But uh, to me, it's, it's not too far away from a bulb shape. So the handle is 123 millimeters in length. Um, it comes with the cool, make sure I get that right side up for you guys. It comes with the cool Phoenix kind of branding on the bottom there. So that's pretty neat. Um, it does have a little bit of weight. It's 3.88 ounces. So it, it's not super light. It's got a little bit of heft to it. So I'm going to go ahead and load up the brush and do a face lather and a quick shave. And while I'm shaving, I'll tell you a little bit more about my thoughts on this brush and give you some details on that giveaway I mentioned. So I got my brush loaded. The Amber Aerolite takes quite a bit of soap. 
so the soap I use today is Razor Rock American Barber, and I'm doing a face shave. Let's go ahead and just get some of that soap on there. So I'm going to do a little bit of a face lather. It's a little pasty at the moment, but we'll get that fixed up. So this is that. This is very, very soft to the face, typical of a synthetic brush. Um, as you can see, it splays very easily and it splays pretty widely when you want it to. Um, I will say it is one of my softer brushes. I actually held off on buying this for a while because I thought the um, just from kind of the looks and description, I thought the knot might be uh, have a little bit too much backbone for my taste, but it does not. It's very, very soft. Uh, it does have a little bit of backbone, but the tips are so soft that you don't really feel the backbone as much. And I've really been enjoying this brush. I can use it for head shaving or face shaving. Uh, even at 24 millimeters, uh, it splays pretty widely because of that hybrid shape. So it covers a lot of ground, even for head shaving. So let's talk a little bit about the giveaway that I've got to do today. So I like to do a giveaway every month. And this month... While I was reviewing this brush, I actually got an opportunity to give away one. So this is a uh, basically brand new Amber Aerolite brush. I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, so when I bought my Amber Aerolite, it came into town and I noticed it had a little bit of epoxy on some of the bristles. It wasn't really rubbing off with just light pressure. So I reached out to Doug and Fran, who were actually on vacation and I didn't know it. Uh, so I reached out to them through the website, the email address, and Fran got back to me while they were on vacation and said, oh yeah, that happens occasionally, not often. Um, she's like, well, we'll send you out a new brush. And I told her, enjoy your vacation. Don't worry about it. We'll talk about it when you get back. But being the awesome customer service people that Doug and Fran are, um, I had a shipping notice like later the next day for my replacement brush. So knowing I had a replacement coming, uh, let's go ahead and start shaving while I tell you a little bit more. So for the razor today, I am using a Gem Micromatic Open Comb. Uh, this is the version, version with the bumps in the base plate. I actually just picked this up uh, while doing some antiquing. So this is a, a wild find. It has some pitting, um, but functionally it's just fine. And we're going to see how it shaves. Uh, so yeah, so they sent me out a new brush. I don't know if you guys can hear that on camera. This razor has a lot of echoey feedback, more so than my bumpless version. Uh, so they sent me out a new brush and knowing I had a new one coming, I went ahead and decided it was worth trying to get the epoxy off of that other one. It was in quite a few places, but it wasn't large amounts, it was just enough that I didn't feel comfortable doing it on the brush before I knew I had a replacement coming. So, I was able to get the epoxy off. Now I did lose, I think, four bristles, four fibers in doing it, but I've lost I think three fibers in the other brush in the few uses I've had, which is not uncommon with the synthetic the first few uses. Um, so you can't really tell. Uh, you can't tell at all, actually, that there are a few fibers missing. And I was able to remove all of the epoxy. So 
I have an effectively brand new Amber Arrow light to give away to you guys. So what do you guys have to do to enter? So if you're a Patreon supporter of mine, I do have a Patreon account if you did not know that. I felt a little bit like Melly Mel saying that just now. If you did not know. Uh, so I do have a Patreon account. And if you are a Patreon supporter, you get automatic entries into all of my giveaways. Um, additional entries, I'll say it that way, because if you comment on the videos, um, that counts as one entry, and then I give you automatic entries for your Patreon subscription. One, two, or three, depending on what level of Patreon supporter you are. So if you're a Patreon supporter, you get automatic entries and automatic notifications if you win. Anyone can become a Patreon supporter. You just have to go to my Patreon link and sign up. And uh, like I said, I have a few different tiers with different additional giveaway entry levels, depending on how much you want to contribute. So I started the Patreon account because I wanted an opportunity for those of you who enjoy what I'm doing and wanted to show some appreciation for it to be able to contribute. Everything I get from that Patreon account goes right back into the channel. So it goes to fund shipping for giveaways. It goes to fund the things that I purchased for the giveaways. Um, it may go to purchasing specific things that people have asked me to review on the channel. So all that money right now is going directly back into the channel. Uh, let me go ahead and rinse. We'll come back for pass two. All right, so let's lather up for pass two. So number two to enter the giveaway, um, I do ask that you be a subscriber because I do these giveaways to say thank you to the people who are watching the videos. So. I would like you to be a subscriber to enter. Um, this is not a directly sponsored video. Um, like I said, I got the brush technically for free, but it was not donated for the purposes of giveaway or anything. So this is not a sponsored video. However, I am an affiliate for PAA. And since this brush came to me from them for free. I would like you guys, if you haven't checked out Phoenix's website, I'm going to leave a link to it below. Um, just consider going and checking out some of PAA's stuff. They got really, really good products, which is why I use so many of their products, including this brush that I really enjoy. Um, if you guys watch my Phantom Arrow Light video, I really like that one as well. Um, I use lots of their soaps and aftershaves and uh, hand sanitizers and all sorts of good stuff. So um, I'm gonna leave a link below. Um, I'd like you guys to consider checking out Phoenix's website if you haven't yet. And then I'd like you to leave me a comment below uh, just leave me a comment that says hashtag Amber Aerolite, all one word. So leave me that comment. And then if you guys appreciate me doing these giveaways every month and you like them, uh, consider hitting that thumbs up button. Let me know you guys like these giveaway videos. I enjoy giving things away. I think I was blessed enough early on in my traditional shaving career to benefit from people giving me things. So I'd like to try and return the favor. And then lastly, if you are not a Patreon subscriber, you're going to have to watch my videos to win. 
Uh, now, I'm not going to make you guys watch every single video for the next few weeks. Um, I, I hope you consider it if you find my videos interesting, but um, I'll be doing the drawing for the winter uh, the weekend of, the, let's, let's just say the last weekend in June. So somewhere around the 25th to 28th, somewhere in that time frame. Um, I, I only do a couple videos a week, so you're not going to have to go searching through. Just find the video that is somewhere in that time frame, and that's where I'm going to announce the winner. This bumped version of the uh, Micromatic does feel a little bit different than my bumpless version. I'll probably do a comparison video on that soon. Uh, so the other thing I wanted to mention with regards to the Patreon account, um, I've had a couple of different people, uh, more than a couple, quite a few different people ask me to do an Aventus series. So, for those of you that haven't seen it, I'm a huge fan of Green Irish Tweed, and I embarked on a pretty grand experiment earlier this year, where I bought, with my own money, um, every single Green Irish Tweed shaving soap that I could find, and I used all of them over the course of a little over a month and tried to put together a pretty comprehensive review of all the various Green Irish Tweed shaving soaps and how they stacked up. Now Aventus is probably a more popular scent in the shaving community than any more or than, uh, than Green Irish Tweed is. It is one of the most popular scents, period, I think. And there are a lot more dupes of Aventus than there are of Green Irish Tweed. So I would love to do the same sort of a series. But it's probably not something I can manage, at least not right now, without a little bit of help. So that's where the Patreon or if you guys use the links I provide in the videos to Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements, um, I get small commissions for that. Uh, that's where that money goes, is to funding things like that that the viewers have asked for. Um, I would love to do it, but I need a little bit of help. So if you guys want to see more stuff like that um, and you want to support the channel financially, then consider either using some of my affiliate links when you decide to buy products from PAA or becoming a Patreon supporter. Like I said, if you if you become a Patreon supporter, it's, it's got the added advantage of <clears throat> automatic entries into the giveaways. All right, so that was a pretty good shave. I'm going to go ahead and get showered and do my post shave, and then I'll come back and give you some final thoughts on the Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements Amber Arrow Light. So I finished up with my shower and a little bit of American Barber Splash. Uh, so final thoughts on the PAA Amber Aerolite. Uh, I, I really like this brush. It's, it's nicely ergonomic. It's got a cool handle. It's got a really nice, soft, uh, synthetic knot. So for those of you who were wondering whether this knot is just a tuxedo rebranded, I, I don't think so. I think it does feel different. Like I said, the tips are a little bit softer and I don't think it has quite as much backbone because of the hybrid shape. So really, really good brush. Uh, I think I've mentioned before that I think PAA might be the value leader in synthetic brushes these days. You can get a good quality synthetic brush for a few dollars cheaper, uh, but not one with this much character and coolness to the handles. So you pay an extra four or five bucks for a really, really nice, really, really cool handle, in my opinion. Uh, so remember, if you guys are interested in winning one of these, enter the giveaway. I gave you a description on how to do that. And hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I'll see you in the next video.